Hi, it's Erin Del Conte, executive editor with C Store Decisions Magazine, and this is C Store Decisions on Location. This video is sponsored by Gulf Coast Software. Gulf Coast Software's core business consists of five major components. One, video system integration services, products, and implementation. For over a decade, Gulf Coast has provided systems design, scope of work, hardware, integration, and support services in the convenience store industry, including video systems, burglar alarm, and two-way audio systems. Two, Device integration. Its data integration solutions interface with nearly every device in the convenience store space. Three, service. Gulf Coast distributes its video and loss prevention software to the field in a modular form and as a complete turnkey video solution. And it maintains its customer systems in the field. Four, remote daily transaction and compliance audits loss prevention, exception management, and compliance review services. Gulf Coast offers a remote audit loss prevention service for $5 per day per location. Five, CB software development. Gulf Coast designs, produces, and supports global intelligent video-based solutions designed initially for the convenience store industry. Learn more at gulfcoastsoftware.com. Today we're here with Sarah Sullivan, the marketing manager of the Pride Stores. So Sarah, tell me a bit about your chain. How many stores do you operate and how many states do you operate in? We have 15 Pride Stores in the Chicagoland area. Most are in the west suburbs of Chicago, but we do have a store in downtown Chicago and a store coming soon in Dyer, Indiana. So Sarah, tell me about a recent or current initiative where the Pride Stores is supporting its local community. The Pride Stores supports three charities on an ongoing basis and they're very near to our heart. Uh, the first charity is called Casa King County. And what they do is they provide support for abused and neglected children uh, that are in the court system. And we donate a portion of our fresh food program called the Pride Grab and Go to them. Um, that, you know, that includes sandwiches, salads, and other things we have under the Pride Grab and Go. Uh, next, we support Holds of Honor, and this is a national charity, so more people might be familiar with them, but they provide scholarships for the children of fallen and disabled service members. Uh, we donate a portion of every coffee sold at the Pride. Uh, lastly, we support Living Well Cancer Research Center. Uh, they're a local charity, very close to most of our stores, that provides uh, support services for cancer patients and their family. Um, and we donate a portion of every gallon of gas sold at every Pride store to them. We've also recently launched a really fun charity program called our Spirit Pumps. So what we do is we will choose either a local organization or a local school and we will wrap our pump in their graphics and donate a portion of those sales at that pump to that organization. So we've first started with schools. Um, we did student athletes, like donations towards student athletes, or um, we did a private school and we donated towards their scholarship fund. But right now we have something really exciting. Um, we partnered with the Chicago Blackhawks Foundation um, to provide a pump at every store that's wrapped in the Blackhawks logo and it goes to the Blackhawks Foundation. And they were really hurt um, when the season ended abruptly last year. So we were happy to partner with them and support them. You know, we've done other things for them, but that's been a really big hit. Like everyone is they're like wondering why is this pump wrapped? Um, and it goes to support those charities and those organizations. And that's something we hope to continue and mix it up and try different schools and different charities. So that's definitely been exciting and we've gotten a lot of community support with that. 
Wonderful. And I love the idea of the Blackhawks spirit pump. Uh, I'm a Chicagoan and Chicagoans love our Blackhawks. I can see where that would attract a lot of attention and uh, be a great way to raise some funds for local charities. Um, so what are some other ways, Sarah, that the Pride Stores is supporting its local communities today and giving back? So as you may know, the Pride Stores is not just a convenience store anymore. We are also um, have some restaurant concepts and we have a liquor store and we have a brewery that just opened. So we've been able to do a lot more things with the community and it's been really exciting uh, for our brewery called 93 Octane. We are, we are a big sponsor of Hops for Hope. It's a one-time event during the year um, and funds go towards raising money for um, bikes, adaptive bikes for children with disabilities. Um, so we're a big partner with that. Um, we've also done some virtual tastings during COVID um, to get our products out there and help support the local charities that have been really hurting, um, you know, from the past year. So we actually did a virtual tasting in February with another brewery and people sat on Zoom and watched our brewers try these beers and, you know, help support, you know, a good organization. Um, that was actually for a charity called Hands of Hope that provides no-cost grief counseling services to the local community. Um, we also have a beer at 90th Rock Team called Wingman, and we donate a dollar for every four-pack sold to Folds of Honor. So we're still trying to support our charities that we support on a yearly basis through different means and different events. Wonderful. And I love the idea of the virtual tasting. I think it's such a great example of how convenience store chains today have had to become more creative uh, during the pandemic and try some new things. Uh, but what a great idea. And I know I'm looking forward to checking out your brewery in person uh, once the world opens up a bit more in Chicagoland. Uh, so Sarah, you know, why do you think that it's important for convenience store chains to give back to the communities where they operate? Uh, with a name like Pride, we want people to take pride that we're part of their community. In fact, our stores, we refer to them, depending on the city, we refer to them to, as the Pride of Chicago or the Pride of Wheaton because we want people um, to know that we take a lot of care with our stores and we are very invested in the communities that we reside in. So I feel like it is really important to give back um, to our customers because in the charities around because you know, they frequent the locations. They're from where we are, we're at and it's really important. Great. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing with us all about how the Pride stores are giving back to the communities where they operate. Thank you, Erin. Thanks for giving us a chance to just go through our charities and what we do for the community. Um, I'm really hoping we can do more bigger events this year with uh, things getting better, hopefully. So thanks again.